This video is to go over some of the features of ClassroomScreen.com. You have your widget bar along the bottom with your option of languages. I'm going to go ahead and stick with English. Background. This allows you to change your background image. You can pick a solid color, a static image, or if you have an interactive panel that's constantly on, you can have an image with a little bit of movement. Random name allows you to choose one, two, or three dice to roll. And you could use that for math or for calling on groups. It also has a name generator. You could simply type them in, choose from there, or upload a text file. When you need to close a widget, you click the red X on the widget icon. Sound level is really handy. It reminds me of the Yakker Tracker that I used to have in my classroom. The first time you load it, it'll suggest that you're in the Chrome or Firefox browser, if you aren't already, and that you need a microphone attached. You simply set the sensitivity level, set a goal line, and then you can also set alarm to go off. When I turn the alarm on, if I go above the sound level, you'll hear a sound. QR code. This is great when you need to share a website with your class, especially if they have a device that can scan QR codes. You simply paste in the website, hit the tab key, it'll adjust the QR code, and you've got a QR code ready to share. You'll notice you can also make it larger, so if you have a large room where you're sharing it, this is also great for conferences if you need to quickly share a QR code. The drawing tool gives you a giant drawing space, depending on how well you can draw with your mouse. You can also change the background, and then select your pen tools. The second drawing tool just does a smaller area on the screen, though you could change the size and drag it around. The next tool gives you a text box. Great for if you want to just type some directions onto a website that you've brought up for students to interact with. Work symbols. If you want students to work together, you can simply put that work symbol that it is time for you to work together. You can also put up a traffic light, green light, start working, yellow light, your time is almost up, your caution, and then your red, stop, we need to move on to the next activity. Timer. Timer and stopwatch. And they've also got fun sounds that you can choose from if you click on the sound bar. The last one is a clock. This is really handy if you have an interactive panel and you want a time posted up on the wall or your calendar. There are a couple more features. Over here, you'll notice a red and green icon in the bottom right corner. If you click on that, it opens a new tab and it gives you an exit poll. You can choose the level and then tell your students what these are. Maybe, for example, you want to know how they're feeling today or if they understood the lesson, had some questions, or are, feel completely lost. If you have an interactive panel, they can just walk by as they're heading out the door or even coming in the door. And then you can go to show results. You could also tag this for class voting, like say the green smiley face means this one, the yellow means this one, etc. The last two icons over on the right, the middle one just simply hides your widget bar, and the bottom one gives you a full screen for the display. I hope that gives you some ideas of how you might use ClassroomScreen.com in your own classroom. Remember, it is a free website.